Hoping to dig us out from the millions of tons of garbage Americans produce each year, scientists have come up with amazing ways to reduce and reuse waste. But for a few scientists, the goal is even loftier, to zap garbage into nothingness. My name is Andreas Tsangaris. I'm the chief scientist of Plasco Energy Group. The project that Plasco Energy is handling is to take 75 tons per day of municipal waste and convert them to electricity without producing any pollution. This is Plasco, and their prototype facility is the first ever full-scale plasma gasification plant of its kind. Our main objective originally was to destroy the waste. But total destruction wasn't enough to satisfy Plasco. By using the technological equivalent of the power of lightning, their goal is to turn our waste problem into a profitable solution. We do not regard ourselves as a waste disposal company. That's way too narrow uh, a designation for us. POSCO is an energy company. Waste to energy, a familiar goal, but the technological process is what makes it unique. Okay, we're gonna start firing the burners higher or harder, so you'll see some increased airflow. The process that converts uh, this waste into electricity is called plasma gasification. Plasma is sometimes called the fourth state of matter. The first state is a solid. Add heat to a solid and it becomes a liquid. Add heat to a liquid, it's converted into a gas. Add heat to a gas, it's converted to plasma. The sun is an, the best example of a plasma. Lightning is another. They harness this lightning-like power by creating an electric arc between two electrodes. A small amount of gas is passed through those electrodes. The gas then ionizes and is transformed into plasma. The gas can reach temperatures of 5 to 10,000 Celsius. That's 4,000 degrees hotter than the outer layer of the sun. But even though it's exposed to intense heat, the waste is not incinerated. Plasma gasification works in the absence or near absence of oxygen. Uh, therefore, it's a process of decomposition and not of combustion. The superheated plasma has the unique power to obliterate any waste in its path, completely decomposing it into its elements. It can process any kind of waste, biodegradable or not. Dirty diapers, concrete, sludge, even hazardous biomedical waste, and transform it into useful and marketable elements. In order to be reacquainted with its elemental self, waste has to go on a unique plasmatic journey. The municipal waste travels up the blue screw conveyor and drops into the main chamber of the converter. There, the solid municipal waste is converted into what we would call a crude or raw synthetic gas that then travels up into the refining chamber where we use the plasma torches to convert it into the product quality gas, which is rich in carbon monoxide and hydrogen. My name is Alistair McLean. I'm the director of programs at Plasco Energy Group. What makes this approach revolutionary is how they organize the molecules into useful compounds after gasification occurs, the most important of which produces power. The cooled and cleaned syn gas travels through the yellow pipe to the five engines we see here. Each of these engines will produce just under a megawatt of power. Our sophisticated control system produces more power per ton of waste than any other waste to conversion technology we know of. Once the process gets going, it powers itself. And in the future, this technology will be able to turn garbage into any fuel gas, even hydrogen to power your future car. Same basic ingredients with endless potential. Almost nothing goes to waste, even the solids. Here we use the plasma torch again to melt or vitrify any of the ash into a glass-like slag. This silicate slag can be sold on the open market and used for everything from roadbed aggregate, building materials, even jewelry. In a city like New York that spends $90 a ton to handle its garbage, the power and slag that is created by gasification could let the city actually earn $15 a ton. We're going to have about 1.3 kilograms per ton of waste 
of heavy metal and activated carbon. And the only waste from this entire process. That's just over two tenths of a percent away from zero waste. We are able to treat municipal solid waste in a much, much environmentally friendlier way than incineration can, or that uh, landfilling does, or that uh, adjacent uh, technologies do. But the technology is still being tested and approved, so it might still be a few years before plasma is powering your neighborhood. We're building new technology, and beyond that, the whole industry. We've taken this from a dream to a reality. One step closer to a world with zero waste, but there's still a ways to go.